Before we wrap it up, there's a couple of thanks you have to say. I teased them earlier on, but they've done a fantastic job. The technical team here, ladies and gentlemen, who kept those slides moving and people on and off, give them a big round of applause. Thank you very, very much. Although I may have offered some professional sheen to this, and all the speakers have been of enormous importance and gravitas and seniority, this event was set up by students and recent graduates of colleges and universities in London. Could you please welcome the director, just to say a few words, Ali Razaid Haddad, ladies and gentlemen, just to say a couple of words. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, as the person who put this event here together for you all today, I, I wanted to come and share a few thoughts with you. But before I do that, I want to take a moment to thank some people who helped us make this event happen. First and foremost, I wanted to thank our lovely speakers and performers, because they have shown a great dedication to us. And wouldn't you agree that they have been absolutely amazing today? Our brilliant host, Dara, for giving up his free day to being here with us and putting this show on together for us. That is, thank you so much, Dara. <laughs> the Royal Albert Hall and their wonderful education team for believing in us to let this event happen. Yeah. <laughs> My awesome team. Our two main sponsors, NeuroPro and the Royal Commission of 1851. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, each and every one of you for being here on your Easter Monday. I know it took a lot of effort for all of us to be here, but I hope it's been worth it. <laughs> Clapping's over. Okay, sorry. Um, I couldn't leave here today without sharing a story with you. A story which tells us why we're all sat here to get today and why this story represents why this event today is a microcosm of the future in health and medicine. My story begins in December 2012, so that's not a long time ago, where me and two other friends right across Imperial College set up a charity project. And part of that charity project was hold, holding lecture series, just to increase awareness about diseases which you would not rather necessarily hear in lectures. We started with, with a lecture with 50 people, and that was a challenge. Then it became 100. Then one thing led to another. We got introduced to TEDMED, and we hosted TEDMED Live Imperial exactly a year ago, on the 21st of April, 2013, right down the road at Royal Geographic Society. And 500 people came, it was absolutely sold out from 14 different countries. And for me and my team, that was probably the end. But it was so beautiful, but it was the end because it was really tiring for us. And when we went back home, we were guys were concentrating on our studies, we all split apart. When I went home and I opened my laptop, I had 100 different messages from people I've never met who didn't know me, but they'd seen our names on other programs, and they were sending us messages that within a day, within a few hours, I laughed and cried. You changed my life. My life made, made sense to me after I left you. Now that was the most powerful single moment in my life, that something in a few hours that me and my team had created had touched so many people. And the next day when I woke up, I was like, I'm doing this again. But there was, a, there was something else that got added to me from so many people tweeting and emailing, Facebooking, whatever, was that I opened up my imagination. And as a student who walked down South Kensington, and I actually graduated here a few months ago on this stage, I imagined how would I reach to a lot of people and continue this event. Now, I thought of the Royal Albert Hall. Why? Because science is not the first thing that comes to mind when we think of the Royal Albert Hall. But in fact, it was the print, it was, it's called the Robert Hall of Arts and Sciences because it was built to celebrate the arts and sciences, not just the amazing performances that we see here. 
So on the 22nd of April, a day after my event, I picked up the phone, as all students do, we just called you Albert Hall. Uh, I told them I want to hold an event here on the 21st of April, 2014. Did not know it was Easter Monday, because I don't celebrate it, and you can imagine why it was free. Um, he, he did say, yes, it's free, but one of the things that I needed to, like the person on the phone said, this is the Robert Hall, and one of the points that you have to take into consideration is you need to have an event before in the UK. You just can't call us and say there's a date free. Um, I said, yeah, I've done that. I've had an event. And he asked me, well, when was the event? I said, yesterday. And at that point, there was a long pause, which he thought either I was crazy or this guy's going to put something together which works. And you'll be glad to know he thought both. And, but we're here. But I'm not trying to tell you that it was a hard work, because that does not need saying. It's, it's a lot of people. The Robert Hall have been tremendous in making this event happen. But I'm telling you that because it's the power of imagination. If this is the result of one person's imagination, 4,000 people being here, and by the way, as we said, the event was streamed, and I'm really happy to say that 44 different countries across all in every single continent are actually watching us right now. So it is more than 4,000 people. Thank you. So my main message is, if this is the result of one person's imagination, all I had to do was just to pick up the phone and say, I'm not going to sound stupid. Might have done, but I didn't care. If you all put 4,000 of you and the people online, imagine we can go beyond what we do. It's OK. We fail, we get up, we do it again. Imagine what we can all contribute to the future of medicine. Keep communicating all the wonderful ideas and concepts that were shared today. Dream beyond what we achieve. It will work, and we will make a big difference. I'm going to pass it back to Dara, but thank you again for all being here, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Ali Rose Haddad, ladies and gentlemen, who found the time and energy to pull this together because he's very new to his medical career and six months working as an SHO in A&E will knock that out of him. Okay. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've drawn something from the inspiration here tonight. There are many charities that you saw tonight who possibly would love some help from me. If you can, organize an event or give them some money, subscribe, or whatever. There are many ideas that are brought here that hopefully you enjoyed. I'm off for a drink, ladies and gentlemen, because that is clearly how I operate. I am dying, ladies and gentlemen, dying for a drink. Good luck. We'll see you again. Bye, folks. Thank you.